Welcome back, friends, to Dead Fire. Theoretically, we're looking, we're looking for a meeting here, somewhere here, west of Nakitaka, in the seas or anywhere, really, with a ship. But the reality is that we're getting swarmed by pirates and slavers. So we've got this Crooksburg captain here, and it's already on our path. And yeah, let's just confront it. It's another crooks per captain. Very high level slavers. A 10th level rogue. 11 people. Well, we've got 14. Take this. Let's board. Yeah, we, we've, got a, we've got a very small ship and to flee or to go for naval combat would be suicidal, so... Let's do it like that. We're also wounded, so it's kind of tough at the moment. A little bit at least. Let us see what we can do. First, of course, we want some buffs. To be safe. And a little bit of a blood sacrifice. And then maybe, maybe the Phantom. The Phantom again. I'm a really a big fan of the Phantom. Quarrel. Mm, Quarrel could try to protect us somehow. Already start something regenerating, like the Consecrated Ground wouldn't be bad. Dire Blessing 2, of course. Prayer for the Spirit. Hmm... Or just the moon well. That's very long, gives us defense and regeneration, and I think we're gonna just start with a moon well. And we've got Kelwasa. Mm, we wanna keep the shield on her. And I'm not sure if we want to if we want to ride out attack because that has always been like our downfall a little bit. Like these guys, they they would they would have just jump over and try to kill us so we will not attack first this time rather we will change to the bow just let's just see um, overdraw it's yeah we can penetrate the toughest armor and that's not bad so here we go they're incoming Devoted ones. And maybe then we can send Lord Paul to, to stop them all. Let's see who is on our side. Pelagina, Constantin. They've been very, very good. Is there Fasina again? No, no, no. Yeah, she was really good at making... Oh my goodness, 28 damage um, on Adonan. Now we had Fasina and she was notable for casting like the firewall. That wasn't that wasn't great because she affected us more than the opponents. Thirty-eight damage. Who shot us there? The crooks for captain. Yeah, the captain always goes on to Kailvasa for some strange reason. And that's just not good. So mmm. We'll see what we can do there. Uh, let's zoom in. With these two slavers. Um, here we can assist, so... Probably just go... Um, discipline strikes. And then this one here. Let's get march in a little bit. And now. But Modwir, because Modwir is so good against Kith. Ow, my goodness me. Can we please do something else? That's terrible. Now, yeah, let's let's move Lord Paul in between. He's much better at tanking. Wow, yeah, the devoted slave is our target. And Palagina is going on to the slaver here. Kshoti is coming. Let's see. 
Nice. Whew. Healing is there. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's why we got so much damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see now. Let's move in here and now. Bam. That's much better. Ooh, Tikehu. Try to sweep them away. What are they doing? Well, Kailasa is pretty, pretty, pretty much down already. So... I don't know. I think we'll we'll use the pledge. Mm. Or maybe jump jump over in here for a little bit more safety. And yeah, that's that's basically what we'll do. Phantom is ready. Have a moon will up there. And now it's time for for something more brutal like Nina Goth's freezing pillar that's one of my favorites ever there's Constantin here and otherwise yeah and Kshoti is also at the front so ooh, it's not good to cast this rather um, then let's let's just start the death ring We'll just go for the death ring. And the slaver. Kshoti. Doing something. Quarrel. Um, hmm. Devotions for the faithful. It's pretty good for us. So let's try to get that through. Ow. Kevava. Can go for the slaver here. And will. 28. Good, but that will be better in time. Wow. Palagina doing a lot of damage. The weather wizards shooting. Curiously. Nice. Death ring. The safety. Here we go. The Crooksburg captain coming back. Ah. Uh, runs affected a bit. The slaves are coming in. Kevabar again. Here we go. And Gerstein. Let's see. Uh, I can definitely feel some pain again. And now. Mm, that against enemies? No targets. 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 Raining touch. Corrosive Siphon is kind of cool. Torrent of Flame, nah. Uh, we'll go for the safeguard because of that funny trick. You'll see it because if we sacrifice, do a blood sacrifice, then. Which I've learned in the, in the last thing, the Langrath safeguard gets triggered. Knocking <laughs> all nearby enemies back and prone while gaining armor rating and defense bonus for a short time. <laughs> and also doing some damage, so that's that's kind of cool. 
Mmm, you got Quarrel going again. How about a Dire Blessing? Finally. Here we go. Phantom's doing great damage. What about Tikehu? Oh, he's just standing there. Using his rod. Right here. Finally, Kailvasa. Uh, that slaver needs to go down, right? Mm, let's give him that thing. And now. <laughs> Double kill. <laughs> Where do we have... Oh, the, the, the slave is marked for the hunt. Interesting. Woo! That slave is getting it. Adonan... Can, can go for that one. The rivalry. Bam. May all be blessed. <laughs> Takeo just standing there defending. Oh, there's, there's another one of the wizards going in. Mmm. I don't like you wizards. I don't like you. Maybe a little bit of fire will do the trick. Uh, that could be a good good idea here. Maybe like this. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Let's do that. Crooksburg Captain is kind of not knowing what he can do. Woo! What's that now? Grilling Kshoti. Kevava definitely doing something good now. On to the slaver! <laughs> Modwe enjoys this. Um, and that guy. The iconic projection. Bam! Nice fireball. Look at that. Look at that. Takeo, okay. So that's, that's a hammer shark, or what is that? Shoti's getting it. Quarrel. We could cast something. The question is, should we? Why not heal everyone? Bam. <laughs> oh, we can use our normal weapon. Oh, it doesn't do as much damage, but still still okay, still good. Oh, it gets healed. Mm. Who's marked for the hunt now? Anyone? No one? Oh, that guy in the back line here. Okay. Oh, oh well. Next to wizards coming. Ow. So everyone is going straight to Kelvasa. What is it? They can. 
Here we go. Yes. Uh, I'm not a fan of that slaver here. This means we'll do a blood sacrifice. Oh, it didn't work this time. Curses. Um. Well, in that case, um, uh, she's still okay. So let's just attack. Oh, poor. Finish him. Pull him down. Oh, so close. Come on, Phantom. Yeah, that one goes down. Another one bites the dust. What have we here? Onto the slaver. Ah, exposing our vulnerabilities. We don't want that. We have no vulnerabilities. Come on. Is the slaver doing? Nothing. Uh, calculating, calculating, nothing. Right here. Oh, hey, Polygina, why don't you attack the slaver here? Uh, to do everything yourself. And then, um... Well, there's not much more possible here. Let's see. Let's just run in. Charge! Charge! And your arrival. Bam! Oh, goodness me! <laughs> yeah, it was kind of funny. Dancing around. To the Crooksburr. Uncanny luck we had. Now, ooh, Lord Paw is coming forward. The Phantom. Great damage. Great, 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 great. Haha. Well. Ha -ha. Direct damage rules now for us. Shoti is also doing what she can, and Constantin uh, doing nothing. <laughs> Successfully doing nothing. Bam. Come on, Captain. Give up. For more we Oh, come on. Raising the Crookspur. Bam. Lord Paul. Oh great. It looked like it would work, but it didn't. Okay. All right. Then let's march back. Back into town. Thirty damage is also not too bad. Take down the captain. <sighs> Bam.
Earned 1,200 experience. We've got some fine swords and grimoires. Crossbows, money. And in exceptional archibus, we gained a rank. Hima gained a level. Uh, do we we need don't need to share the coins with crew. We'll take the we'll take everything. Items left behind will be lost. That's okay. It's probably some things for ship repair or something. And that's fine. So we got them down. Down, down, down and out. Not afraid of the daily wages anymore. What is that? Whittler. Whittler. Do we have... Did we have... Bounty Whittler? Whittler. No, Whittler was the one we wanted to meet. Here. Meet Whittler at sea. Hey there, Whittler. We found you, finally. Oh, so good. So good. I was afraid it would be like on the island for some reason and then the ship would be at some kind of strange hidden port. Hey there. Long blonde hair. A long sleek ship rides low in the water. Its crew stands protectively around a cluster of crates positioned on the main deck. A woman saunters across the deck, her roughly chopped hair swinging with a stride. We said or not, Perrin. What? She bangs her fist against one of the crates. The dwarven man standing near her flinches as though she'd hit him. Oh, what did I just do? She cackles and thumps him on the back. He staggers forward and shoots her a venomous glare. Okay, they... Yeah, I'll click now. You've had days to count. Now it's time we talked about the price. She turns her attention to you, eyes gleaming. Perrin follows her gaze. We've had some complications. The price is doubled. Uh... Why did you raise the price? She gives you a crook grin and glitches you carefully. Don't act insulted. I've heard enough to know you'd do the same. Let's just say there are other folks who'd be happy to pay my price. Mm, I see. So, you buying or looking? Do you know who I'm representing? I know they've got the cash. Yeah, let's intimidate her. And you also know they've got guns. And you want them to be happy with this deal. Fine. One thousand it is. Yeah, here we go. Glad we could do business. Uh, we'll not murder her. The smugglers unload the crates onto your ship. Uh, it's just not... I mean, we could have done it, but we're just not that cold-blooded. They've done something for us. We'll do something for them at the price that is usual. Our new, your new cargo secured. You retract the anchor and let out your sails. Finally, we got them. Very nice. Now, let's go to destination. <clears throat> Fleetmaster Okaya at Sayuka. Good that we already knew something about Sayuka. <laughs> right when I just blindly went to Sayuka. And probably someone is going to steal this cargo, right? Because someone else is interested. We've heard it. We, we've already heard it. Yeah. As your crew haul the smugglers' crates below decks, one of them shouts in alarm. Hema, Finn finds you in your cabin. Captain, come quick. Someone's popped out of one of those crates we picked up. Before you can object, Hema leads you ob above deck. All right. So it's an it's a Trojan horse, or what? No. A plump, middle-aged woman stands beside the crate. Her clothing is rumpled and her hair matted. But her eyes twinkle with triumph. Three days. This is a new record. She smells of stale urine, old sweat, and worse, but she beams at you all the same. Uh, 
<laughs> Lady, you are all setting all kinds of records right now. <laughs> you bear witness to the victory of magic over matter, and you are bothered by a little mess. <laughs> She snorts. I have nearly perfected Renova Miseris, and this spell shall change exploration forever. What? A renewal of air, you would say. Yeah, that kind of stinking air, or what? Kith have explored every mountain in the eastern reach, yet the realm of fish and leviathans remains close to us. Until now, I guess. It has been my dream to open these steps to discovery, to let Kith breathe as the fishes do. So you have Jill's. A uh, look of wonder shines in her eyes. Or at least to let us use the air of a single breath again and again. I still don't understand why you had to hide in a crate. Neither do I. But Okaya, she thinks maybe the Dukes will not be so happy to let me go, she shrugs. At least it gave me plenty of time to test my work. And why go to Sayuka? Why leave the Valian Republics? Back home they care only for profit, and there is little profit to be had in sticking your head in the glass bucket to watch the fish. But the Rawatayans, they have vision. They chase greater things than gold. So I go to work with them. And what exactly are you to be working on at Sayuka? Sientere, but I had promised not to say. She looks sincerely regretful, that's all I suppose. Yes, I have much to do. Many more tests to run before we reach Sayuka. A pleasure talking, Captain. Okay, Iwera. And who else is gonna pop out of these crates? Or what else? Now we've got a mad scientist sorcerer. And what next? <laughs> What's that? Deziwa the Shark. Royal Deadfire Company. Okay, that's friends then, I hope at least. Back to Sayuka, and maybe we'll just explore the burial site then too. And what is there? There's something, there's something hidden now, I understand. Sayuka. Enter the, enter it, enter the town. Uh, Fleetmaster's quarters, I don't know. Uh, let's just enter Sayuka first, and then... We'll see if our blind passenger, our guest, is, uh, is happy then. I must go. Discovery awaits. Agresima, Captain. She bows to you. Superstitions surround your kind, he says. Okay, okay, nice. So, we've got her now. Let's speak to Fleet Master Okaya again. Maybe that's going to be a little bit more useful now. No doubt the druids plot their next attack even as we speak. Has an Uikaru asked me to deliver some cargo to you? I've received a report from the Dockmaster stating as much. The Royal Deadfire Company appreciates your swift delivery of our cargo. A cheery smile brightens her otherwise serious features. Um, we'll say nothing about the smugglers, it's okay. Well? She raises an eyebrow. I've received a report from the dock master stating as much. Huh? The Royal Deadfire Company appreciates your swift delivery of our cargo. Uh, again, um Did the dock master mention anything else? No, I don't see. Oh, there's a note here at the bottom. Hmm, it's very small. What does it? Oh. Please accept my apologies for your Difficulties. I'll see that the cargo bathes immediately. 
She pinches the bridge of her nose and exhales deeply. The Hazanui's missive suggested you might be able to help us with an issue at court. Uh, go ahead. You may have noticed the outsized coral in the harbor. She gestures to the docks just beyond her office door. Yeah. There's something unnatural about the coral's growth. About everything on this island. And no matter how we trim it back, it only grows larger. It only grows larger. My engineers deduce that the origin of this disturbance is somewhere off the coast of Sayuka. And I'd like you to investigate. Talk to Avera in the workshop if you care to learn more. I would be grateful for your help here, Watcher. She gives you a sharp little nod, punctuated by the crack of her pencil against the disc, then returns to her work. You found me with a rare spare moment. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to always to ask you about something. Well. Oh, we can ask new things. What do you hope to achieve in the archipelago? How much do you know of Rawatai, Watcher? Uh, Adam and studied its history. So you have a scholarly understanding. That's not worth nothing. You'll find we appreciate the spirit of inquiry in Sayuka and in Rawatai. She dips her head to you in quiet acknowledgement. Well, I don't need to tell you that Rawatai is a stern mother, tempestuous and inhospitable. We have to trade for much of what we need, and the Juana have proven to be valuable partners. The dead fire is markedly more comfortable than Rawatai. The archipelago is also an excellent place from which to study the storms of Andra's mortar. She gestures broadly at the spyglass on her desk. Um, why are you here in particular? Do you ask how I came to my position, or why I pursued it to begin with? Okaya crosses her arms and leans back, guarded by... Guarded, but nonetheless curious. What drew you to your work? No one's ever asked me that. She blinks. I suppose I've always had a persistent interest in engineering. Even as a child, I was dismantling my mother's guns just to see how they worked. Then I met Karu. Ah, Hazanui Karu. She encouraged me to take my skills to the Navy. So I did. Even though I had no obligation to as the youngest of my siblings. We nurture our keen minds in Rawatai, you see. We don't let them piddle away their brilliance on frivolities. The bright and willing are supported, mentored, respected. Hmm. Someone is worth something. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, she told me you were one of the brightest minds in Rawatai. Is, is that... did she really say that? A deep blush colors Okaya's face, giving her skin a gentle purple hue. Pardon me, I'm not... I wasn't expecting... She loudly clears her throat and looks away. How does someone become a fleet master? A question like that, I might mistake you for a starry-eyed recruit. Give her a forge dawn, she chuckles. There's no secret to it. Just hard work, determination, a good deal of luck, and the right connections. A bit of ruthlessness can take the place of any one of those things, provided it's judiciously applied. Well, let's ask no, around this again. Always... Then I met... so I did... we because we had some more questions. Mentored. Ah. Respected. Okay, okay. I see. Very well. That's all. And what does the Royal Dead Fire Company hope to achieve here in Sakuya and in the archipelago? How much do you know of Rawatai, Watcher? Oh, okay, that's so again this one. Find, well, uh, we have to the archipelago is also an excellent place from which to study the storms of Andra's What's your order? take on the Royal Dead Fire Company's relationship with the Wana that's there? That's a weighty question. She narrows her eyes, reassessing you. That's why I asked it. She snorts through her nose, her gaze falls to the pencil in her hand, which she begins to tap thoughtfully along the edge of her desk. It's a reasonable inquiry, I suppose. The Juana are pliant enough and willing to work hard when properly motivated. We have as much right to this land as they do. If they plan to do nothing with it, it's our duty to steward it for them. Hmm. Do you miss raw time? Every day. The wild coasts. The merciless winds. Their lack is like a missing limb. 
She looks away a moment, embarrassed by her forthright confession. Our will always be there. And the work we do here, that's what matters now. Well, some of the Wana seem unhappy about what you do. Besides, it could be worse. She looks at the desk, her mind quickly gone somewhere else. After a long silence, she hurriedly scribbles a note in the margin of one of her reports. Hmm. How would you feel if someone did the same to Rawatai? <laughs> they could certainly try. Okay, alright. Um let's inquire again. It's a re the Juana. We have as much right to this land as they do. If they plan to do nothing with it, it's our duty to steward it. Okay, okay. Um Never mind then. Farewell. Okay, so we got to take care of the coral. Mm. Hunting season. So we could travel to Bent Branch Bog in Sayuka. That's definitely something. Mm. Aha, the Druids leader are holed up there. And there's something else, overgrowth. Discover the source of a magical disturbance causing the coral in Sayuka's port to grow out of control. That's also something. So, um, we'll investigate one, one, one or two of that. Probably first we'll ask to overgrowth, and then maybe we'll visit the druids. So, have a great time until then, and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming.